everyone, welcome back to Bald Guys with Guns. I'm Rob. Jeremy isn't here today, but I've brought my dad's 380 carbine. This is a high point 380 carbine. And for those of you that know what a high point is, well, they're bulky, they're heavy, but they're cheap. And they function. Uh, we've made a video about this gun where Jeremy and I competed against each other. There's a link up here that you can see that. Today, I'm just going to group this thing at 50 yards. It is a carbine, so that means it's a, well, not all carbines are the same, but this is a pistol caliber carbine. It shoots 380, and uh, like most carbines, I mean, maybe a question is why buy uh, a rifle style uh, gun that shoots pistol rounds? Well, maybe your everyday carry gun or the gun that your very first gun or the one that you use the most is the one you have the most ammo for and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a new caliber you buy one of these that's the same caliber as your gun so that's why my dad bought it he had a 380 or he has a 380 that's his carry gun and uh, he just wanted something that was a rifle that would shoot the same ammo so uh, these guns are like I said they're cheap when he bought this it was 250 for this gun um, bought a little $30 Pinty red dot off of uh, Amazon and we got our Amazon bipod as well and I mean Very very cheap very good to shoot. So we're gonna sit down and shoot a couple five shot groups uh, At 50 yards because that's probably about the max distance that you're gonna Use something like this anyway, especially with 380. It just doesn't have the umph um, And after we do a few five shot groups, I'm gonna actually record on the Garmin and um, the FPS so we'll see what it's going how fast it's going out of this rifle but then I also have a 380 pistol um, and I'll record a few shots with the pistol and we'll compare the differences so let's get shooting today we're using Winchester bulk ammunition it's full metal jacket 95 grains um, let's see how these go out of this rifle we're gonna start at the center, just in case we need to adjust this red dot. All right, they were traveling about 1,100 feet per second. Not too terrible. Uh, the group does not look fantastic at 50 yards uh, with a red dot, but yeah, we're only gonna be able to fit a couple groups on that paper because of that, but that's all right. Let's load up the next five and do another set. Let's shoot our second group of five. Not too bad from what I can tell from here. About 1100 feet per second again. Pretty good. So that last group didn't turn out too bad. We're gonna do one final group of five at the top of the target. See how we do. Let's shoot. Looks like we put them all within a couple inches. That's pretty good. So out of the carbine, we're getting about 1100 feet per second, give or take a few FPS up or down. And uh, it groups pretty good at 50 yards. 
for what you would use this for, very effective. Um, for the second thing that I want to do for you guys today, I think the best example of maybe something you might use this for, I'm gonna take a clip from our competition video with this gun. So those of you that haven't seen it, you'll get a little surprise. Those of you that have, this will just be a reminder of you know, what, what you might use the gun for and what it's capable of. So check this clip out. Three, two, one, go. Wow. <laughs> Woo! All right, I've got the Garmin set up to check out the uh, FPS on my pistol. So this is my Bursa Thunder 380. It was my very first uh, pistol that I purchased for concealed carry. Uh, it was it's been a pretty good gun. I had a few trigger issues, but uh, Gunsmith worked that out for me. So let's see what the FPS is. I don't know if I'm gonna hit the target, but we'll give it a go. Make sure one's loaded in there real quick. Okay. Cycled. It's cycled, but the uh, hammer's not staying down. little double action there. All right, looks like we're averaging about 890. So a four inch or three and a half inch barrel out of a pistol gets you about an average of 890 FPS with the same ammo. So to go from a three and a half inch barrel to a 16 inch barrel, you get 1100. I mean, Depending on where you are, that's still like maybe subsonic, but I mean, you're barely pushing, uh, yeah, you're barely pushing the limits there. So does it make a difference to have a barrel length that gives you only a couple hundred feet per second? Maybe not, especially for self-defense, but it definitely is easier to aim and, and, uh, stay steady with a rifle versus a little pistol. So, you know, that could be up to you. This was just for fun to, to see what the difference was. But yeah, there you go. Well, guys, I hope that uh, you enjoyed that video. Just a little review of the gun. This is something like, I mean, when you, when you don't want to spend a lot and you, even if you have like, this is a 380, right? So maybe you have a nine mil and it's your go-to gun. You have tons of ammo for it. 250 bucks, maybe 300 in today's money. I haven't looked at their pricing, but to get something super cheap so that you can have a rifle that you can shoulder, that you can have a little more control with, uh, just for fun or for home defense, you know? Um, not bad, I mean, it, I've, I have yet to have a malfunction with this gun. Um, they're ugly, they're bulky, they're heavy, but they run and not terribly inaccurately either. Um, especially when you saw Jeremy back and forth at the pop cans with the red dot. I mean, it, he nailed it and it, you know, that's about, we had those at about a distance that you would be from somebody in your home, right? If you were trying to protect yourself. So all in all, for what they are, they work and you can't really argue with it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't and if you enjoyed the content. Always remember, only the most beautiful scalps are bald. And we'll see you next time. I missed the camera.